one and all. It's Monday. It's bright. It's fresh. It's cold. So you know what time it is. It's time for your boy to hit that water. Rock and roll. No fear. And there is no fear. I'm going to talk about how strength eliminates anxiety. It sounds pretty obvious when you put it like that. But it is kind of obvious. The stronger you are, the less you have to fear. Because what does the lion fear? What does the wolf fear? Other lions and other wolves. What does the deer and the gazelle fear? Pretty much everything. <gasps> so, all of this fear and panic and anxiety about coronavirus at the moment. If you are fit, healthy and strong, you literally have zero risk from this virus. It is not a problem at all, provided you are fit, healthy and strong. So doesn't this send a very clear signal to you that priority number one in your life should be to be fit, healthy and strong? I remember just how anxious and afraid I was all the time when I was in that unfit, unhealthy place. Now I remember when I started hitting those weights, when I really started hitting them, when I started seeing some results, when I started when I started running and it wasn't just a slog, I could go out for a run and I could rack up a few miles and it, it was tough, but I wasn't absolutely gasping for breath. I felt a surge of confidence that I had never felt before. It was incredible. And that confidence, it just, it takes care of a lot of this background anxiety because you're not walking around afraid anymore. You're not walking around afraid anymore. You don't have to be. You don't have to be afraid when you are strong, when you are fit, when you are healthy. So that's physically. But what do we do about being mentally strong? Well, for one thing, the body and mind are the same organism. It's the same organism. And if you make the body strong, guess what's going to happen to the mind as well? It's not rocket science, right? If you make the body strong, the mind will follow suit. The other way to build mental strength is to overcome challenges. And partly that physical training, it is a, it's a hell of a challenge. If you can push yourself through that pain barrier, if you can push yourself through that fear over lifting that heavy weight or setting that long distance, I'm gonna set myself 5K, 7K, 10K. If you can overcome that fear and that doubt that tries to come in when you set yourself these goals and you overcome it and you hit that target and you work hard towards it and you strive and you push, that just builds a level of resilience and strength that you will have never felt before. And when you really start driving towards it, you will find that this strength builds automatically. See, oftentimes we're like, oh, when I have the confidence and when I have the strength, that's when I'm going to start going out for a run. Or when I have the, the inner confidence and the inner self-belief, then I'll be able to face down this intimidation I feel from the gym. It doesn't work like that. We have it backwards. You have it backwards if you're thinking like that. It's the other way around. You have to face down the challenge and then the confidence and the self-belief. The self-esteem follows suit after that. You see, I gave that talk on the 1st of March and it was an amazing experience. It was phenomenal. I will remember that experience until the day I die. It's, it was so powerful, so powerful, like nothing I've ever felt before. Two hours I was up there talking and it went by like that. And then we had half an hour of Q&A afterwards and it was just so positive. And it was just so energizing to be in a room full of people who are all engaged in taking a look at their lives and taking a look at moving forwards and standing up and saying, enough's enough, there must be another way. They wanna come and see this story. They want to come and see what happened here. It was incredible. And the reason I could go out and do that and stand on that stage and talk about these things was because of everything I did during that Movember challenge. Exactly what I'm doing now, getting into the water, 
speaking to the camera. Yes, sometimes the words aren't going to come. Yes, it's going to be uncomfortable. I'm going to do it anyway. Because this conditions you. This conditions the mind. So that when I step on stage, I'm not afraid of losing my words or my train of thought. Because I've done it so often that even if I do lose that, that train of thought or I lose my words or I feel nervous, I know for a fact that I can just keep pushing through anyway. Why? Because it's happened many, many times and it is nothing to be afraid of at all. It also meant that I knew that people resonate and connect with the words because everybody gave such amazing feedback from that Movember challenge. So there was, there was no fear and people say, how did you get on step? How do you, how do you speak publicly to crowds of people? Well, you just do it. You just do it and do it and do it. And it's not like I don't feel fear or anxiety anymore. I do feel fear and anxiety just as much as anybody else does. But the difference is I don't let it stop me from doing things. You just go and do it anyway. And the more you do it and the more you do it and the more you do it, the more anxiety just, it, it can't trouble you in the same way again. You see, often we don't realize how much we're watching ourselves. And if you avoid things because you're anxious about it, guess what happens to the anxiety? It grows and it becomes more terrifying because you're watching yourself. And if you avoided something because you're anxious, you're sending the signal to yourself that, yeah, I should have avoided that because I didn't go. I was worried I didn't go and now I'm safe. So, okay, yeah. So anxiety starts to get a foothold in you and it starts ramping up and ramping up and ramping up. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. You nip it in the bud straight away. If you're afraid of it, go and do it. If you're afraid of it, go and do it. Oh yeah, but what about, no, go and do it. Ah yes, but yeah, no, go and do it. Oh yeah, but no, you don't understand it. So yeah, no, go and do it. You do it and do it and do it and do it and do it until the job is done. Get it done, get it done, get it done. That is how we build mental strength. I am so, so, so excited to be announcing and revealing a series of six talks that I'm going to be giving. We are going to be taking a deeper look at the reasons why you lose motivation and the reasons why you are not achieving these life goals that deep down you know you have to get around to doing. So it could be anything. It could be that you need to take a look at your mental health. It could be that you need to take a look at your physical health. You need to lose some weight. It could be a business goal that you have. You want to start a business, grow a business. It could simply be that you need to pass some exams. Or it could be that you, you're lacking some motivation, direction, and some meaning in life. Whatever that goal is, I have something for you. This series of six talks, it'll be over the course of six weeks. And I'm talking, this is pad and paper job because I am really going to get into these reasons why you lose motivation, and I'm going to give you the inspiration and the motivation to push forwards. We're going to really, really do it now. We're gonna really do it now, because for my transformation, something switched inside, and I've spent six years now really looking at what happened there, and how to keep that passion ignited and to keep that motivation and inspiration fired up. This was the fire inside. And there is a fire inside everyone. Everyone. There is an inner light, an inner heat, and an inner energy. But over the years, you've been bogged down in all this ash and this dampness and your light is flickering out. And this is what is happening when you're suffering from this anxiety, depression, your lack of motivation, your, your light is dwindling and it's flickering out and it's surrounded by ash. What I'm going to do is just drag all of that dead wood away and we're going to start feeding that flame with good things, with good things, with good fuel. That's what I'm gonna put in there. We are going to be thinking about self-esteem, self-belief, self-confidence, self efficacy you are finally going to stand up and say enough is enough i need to take a look at this and i'm going to get it done we are going to forge a strength in you like you have never ever felt before it is going to be so powerful and i know this because i am putting everything into this everything from doing that talk 
I realized I have finally found my true calling. And I can say that with 100% confidence. This is it. There's no way back now. There's no way back. This is what I'm going to be doing now. Now I'd like you to be a part of this first, this first project here. If you came to my talk lighter on the 1st of March, you've already got a good grounding in the sort of things that I'm going to be talking about. If you didn't come to that one, it's no problem at all. We're going to be starting from day one. It's going to be in April, most likely on Sundays, starting on the 19th. It's going to be in the evening. It's going to be an hour's talk, and then we're going to hit it with an hour of Q&A and workshop. And once you are coming to these talks, you are going to be on my team. And if you are on my team, I am not leaving you behind. Once you are on my team, we are going to lock in this goal and we are going to get it done. I hope everyone is feeling energized, fresh and strong out there. I challenge you on this Monday, I challenge you to do something that makes you uncomfortable, something that you're afraid of. It could be somebody you need to speak to that you've been putting off. It could be just answering that email that you've been putting off, starting that project, taking that step forward because nothing is going to change unless something changes. It is time. It is time now to finally start moving forwards. Oh. What an amazing 12 months it's been. And it's only onwards and upwards from here. The fire inside, it lives inside all of us. Inside all of us, it lives inside you. Let's get it lit. Let's get it ignited. We gotta feed that flame. We gotta fan that flame. We have to look after and nourish and protect that flame. Because I am not going to let it go out in you. I am not going to let it go out in you. I didn't let it go out in me. All I did was feed it with good things. I didn't let it go out. Now here I am. There is no one happier than me right now. No one. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you soon.